Hello, this is Emma presenting Claude Monet. Before Monet, painters made serious, detailed pictures of what was famous and important. Monet broke the rules to paint what inspired him. He painted the ordinary in an extraordinary way, with light, reflection, and nature in blendy, misty creations. Claude Oscar Monet was born in Paris, France, November 14, 1840. His father owned a grocery store, and his mother was a singer. His parents wanted him to join the family grocery business when he grew up, but he wanted to be an artist. When Monet was five years old, his family moved to Le Havre. In 1851, Monet was enrolled in art school. One of Monet's greatest influences was Baudin. He taught Monet how to use oil paints and to work outside, or en plein air. When Monet was 16, his mother died and he moved back to Paris and lived with his aunt. He studied art in Paris. At that time, young painters went to the Louvre, one of the greatest art museums in the world, and copied famous paintings called the Old Masters. But Monet sat in the window and drew what was outside. He didn't want to copy old paintings. Monet could see light. Something special about Monet is the way he saw light and color, and I wanted to try that too. Every day I drive to school this way, but today I'm on a Monet light treasure hunt, and I see things differently. Ooh, right there! Take a look at that. disappointed with the way they taught art at the university, but he made some great friends there. His friends' names were Renoir, Basile, and Sicily. Together they invented Impressionism. Monet traveled around and studied with other painters. In England, he learned more about color and landscapes from Turner. When he returned to France in the spring of 1871, he tried to exhibit his work but was refused. Then he settled in Argentile, France, a village on the river Seine with many of his painter friends. Then in 1874, he made a new exhibit and displayed impressionist paintings for the first time. A critic showed up and said, what is this, this impression? Then the painters adopted this word to describe a new style of painting. After the first success in the art show, Monet was devastated by his wife's death. Camille was one of his favorite models and a dear wife, but he was so obsessed with painting, he painted her on her deathbed instead of spending the last moments with her. After her death, he never painted a person again. He limited his work to nature and landscapes. After Camille's death, Monet decided that he really wanted to be a successful painter. He painted the French countryside. Monet traveled on a train and saw Giverny for the first time and thought it was very beautiful. He moved out of Paris to Giverny with Alice, his children's babysitter. He fell in love with her and they married. They moved to Giverny because of the exquisite light, nature, and water.
especially liked nature reflected in water. This is the lake at my school. I think Monet would be inspired by it. From the 1880s to the 1890s, Monet worked on his series paintings. One of his most famous series is of haystacks. One day, Monet was out on a walk and he saw something beautiful. He asked his daughter to go and get him two canvases. Once he started painting, he realized two was not nearly enough because he had tons of ideas of how to paint the haystacks and the light kept changing. He asked for more canvases and she returned with a whole wheelbarrow full. Every day, Monet would work on each painting at the right time of day to get the right light. He loved to paint, but at the same time, he couldn't stop himself. He kept seeing and painting, and then the light would change, so he'd start a new canvas. Maybe that's why he said, Color is my day-long obsession, joy, and torment. It took him years to finish the series. When he was done, they were all of the same thing, but all different, because he painted showing the changing light and air. Monet's series paintings were very popular. He sold them for a lot of money and earned enough to buy his dream home at Giverny and make the garden. Monet once said, I perhaps owe becoming a painter to flowers. He planted all different colors of flowers around his big pink house in Giverny. Monet wanted a water garden, so he turned a meadow with a brook running through it into a pond. With the help of some other gardeners, he planted willows and water lilies and other plants, creating a breathtaking water garden. Then he added his finishing touch, a curving wooden bridge. It was called the Japanese Bridge. For 20 years, Monet was inspired by his garden and painted some of his most famous works of art. Can you imagine loving flowers so much that you couldn't help but paint them? I can really understand the way Monet loved flowers because I love them too. I wear them and I have flowers in my garden and my neighborhood. I think Monet would have loved to visit my hometown, but he would have to bring lots of canvases. I decided to try drawing like Monet. I was inspired by a beautiful tree. Here's my work. Monet said, The richness I achieve comes from nature, the source of my inspiration. But in Monet's later years, he was going blind from cataracts, and he couldn't see the way he used to, so it was very hard for him. After he had surgery, he went back and repainted the work he had done because the paintings were too red. Monet changed people's view of art. Before Monet, people painted kings, queens, gods, and battles from history. Monet and the Impressionists painted their impressions of everyday things like scenes in nature. I think it is very creative how he makes the light. He uses many colors, mixing white in to show light. Monet's work blends together misty-like. Monet had a gift for seeing. He was unusual, but color and light are everywhere. 